across the years, the lifetimes of many men. From General Washington's Continental Army to the globe-circling army of today, there stretches a continuity of devotion and of determination and of willing sacrifice, which we do well to remember. Today's big picture pays particular honor to the Americans in uniform, past and present, who are a part of that proud heritage. historic Fort McNair in the nation's capital is a fitting setting for today's tribute to those whose devotion has kept our nation free. And here to give motion and melody to that tribute are troops of the Old Guard, the 3rd United States Infantry, and of the United States Army Band. The 3rd Infantry is one of the most select units in the United States Army. It is older than our nation's constitution and bears on its rolls the names of men who suffered at Valley Forge and triumphed at Yorktown. unit of the army, the Old Guard symbolizes the Patriots' heritage, shared by Americans in uniform wherever they may be. the colors. The Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps with a medley of authentic Revolutionary War tunes. The Continental Soldier, parading on some village green, marched to the stately colonial cadence of exactly 90 paces to the minute.
present Kong. On the 18th of April, 1847, General Winfield Scott was on the march from Veracruz to Mexico City. His force, led by the 3rd Infantry, was blocked by an enemy stronghold on the heights of Cerro Gordo. The 3rd led the charge which took the position with bayonets fixed. In the end, it was those bare blades which decided the matter. And so began a tradition which is a part of the rich fabric which makes up the heritage of the American soldier. Sound fixed bayonets! Done in time with a medley of traditional army tunes, muskets in motion. Infantry drill team, a study in synchronization.
clock-like rhythm of precisely 150 beats to the minute, once started, does not vary a beat from the beginning of the demonstration to the end. Some details of the teamwork are so smooth that unless one watches closely, they may go unnoticed. For example, the moment when the entire team exchanges rifles at once. Another rifle exchange, this time on the ground. From front to rear of a file of six marching men, a mid-air rifle pass with bare bayonet fixed. Since revolutionary times, much has changed. But discipline, precision, teamwork, the essentials, the unvariables, remain. of 13 stars, the beginning of a visual and musical journey through history, a progression of the uniforms and the flags which American soldiers have taken into battle. Fifteen stars and fifteen stripes 
flew at New Orleans and over Fort McHenry in the War of 1812, inspiring the words of our national anthem. Twenty-eight stars, thirteen stripes, the Mexican War, Cerro Gordo, Chapultepec. Thirty-six stars, and below them, the Union Blue, Fort Sumter, Appomattox. Under a flag of 36 stars, the West was won, and the nation extended from coast to coast. Forty-six stars, the Spanish-American War, San Juan Hill. Forty-eight stars, the flag the Doughboy took over there. Chateau Thierry, Belle Wood, Saint Miel. Again under 48 stars, the battle dress of World War II. Pearl Harbor to Manila, Tunisia to the Rhine, and later Korea. Today, under 50 stars, the American soldier carries forward his proud heritage of devotion. heritage which through the years has ensured the security of the Union which those 50 stars symbolize. For every one of our 50 stars, there is a colorful state flag, each with a tradition, a meaning of its own. diversity and a harmony which is in itself symbolic of the broad union they represent. in review, a typically terse military command whose meaning is this, let the soldiers pass by so that it may be seen what their quality is.
the military review reveals what men are, it also recalls from whence they have sprung. For it is a fraternal thing, the ceremonial, the pageant of an old and honorable brotherhood. The ancient way among men of arms of showing honor to those present and to those who have gone before. Across the years, linking the lifetimes of many men, there stretches a continuity of devotion and of determination and of willing sacrifice. We do well to remember. <laughs>